English 111, workplace writing. I have in earlier semesters previewed English 111 as a new option to fulfill the general education written communications requirement in select career programs. This course made its debut this past fall. First, a quick review of what English 111 is. This is a college level, albeit non-transfer, a college level writing course that focuses on the procedural writing that is required in technical jobs. Students take what is involved in technical lab work and translate procedural actions into prose, actions that pertain to technical requirements, safety, problem solving, and teamwork. English 111 is not a developmental course. It fulfills three hours of the communication segment of the genet requirements for an applied science degree. This course uses contextualized learning in the student's chosen technical field. Uh, one writing assignment this past fall had students compare power tools and to select one for purchase presenting evidence to support their choices. Students had to research information on manufacturer websites. They had to translate tool specs into a table for model comparisons. They had to summarize variables that factor into tool selection and then using documented evidence argue for the winning tool. Who's the mastermind behind this? Beth Bachtel, she's sitting right back there. English 111 is her brainchild. The gestation period for this brainchild has been at least eight long years. Her interest in contextualized learning and figuring out what is required for career students in reading and writing has taken her to different parts of the campus. She has sat through Je uh, Cheryl Drake's Chemistry 106 to understand the reading demands for students studying for health professions. She donned protective gear to personally experience welding in one of Billy Worth's labs. She can now hold a conversation about tools used in manufacturing and diesel mechanics. Why did she do all of this? To figure out best approaches to engage career students in honing the art of writing and building effective reading strategies for success in the classroom and in the workplace. So, who took English 111 this past semester? Here's the data. Four sections were offered. Students came from automotive, collision repair, Ford Asset, diesel power, and Case New Holland programs. All in 37 students took English 111. 27 of them passed with a C or better. That's a pass rate of 73%. 32 passed with a D or better. That's completion at 86%. But quantitative data only takes one so far. Data based on students' responses is always richer and more informative. So here's a sample of what we learned from the students in a survey. 100% of them said that the Writing skills have improved during the semester in English 111. 71% of them said that their skills improved a lot. 93% of them uh, reported an increase in their confidence about writing. I had the chance to chat with one of the students during a class visit. He said that he had always feared writing. His mind would blank out and nothing would come out on paper. But through English 111, he learned that he could write and express ideas and that following the conventions of writing are not beyond him. 64% said that they felt very prepared for writing in their current or future jobs. Then they were asked to make comments about their experience. I'm going to read you three comments. English 111 has been my favorite class outside of the CNH program so far because it relates more to the technical field and it was easy to understand everything we did while also learning the English techniques. Another said, I really enjoyed English 111. It helped me I felt it helped me become a better writer, which will help me in the field being a technician. It will allow me to communicate with customers better. A third one said, English 111 taught me different ways of writing. These include responding to articles and gathering information from websites and then writing about it. English 111 is an important tool in student success. For one, it provides an approach to help students see that good writing is not external to their technical training. Indeed, it's one of the emphases throughout the course that written communication is required on the job and is a necessary factor in professional success. Further, it introduces writing to many students who have hitherto shied away from writing. English 111 helps them to see that good written communication is within their reach. Many students do not complete their AAS degree. They leave for the workforce when they have all their technical credits required. English 111 not only shows them that they can write, 
that they can express their reasoning and their evaluative thought processes in writing, but that completing the Gen Ed requirements is not a hurdle to be avoided. We trust that the English 111 introduction will help students complete their programs with the, uh, in the AAS. C completion is good for students. It is also mighty good for us as a college. Beth is working on 111 for ag students this semester, but it is also important to know that English 111 is not for every career program or for every student within a program, and we need to underscore this. This is one option. Program directors amongst you, if you want to check out the appropriateness, appropriateness of English 111 for your students, get a hold of Beth. Her email is on the screen.